Hey guys, thank you for checking out my channel. My name is JC and I'm here with Wedge Concepts. So in this video, it's just going to be a bonus video. I'm just going to go over the pros and the cons of credit union credit cards. Okay, so let's just get right to it. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and do me a favor and click the like button or the subscribe button. Um, matter of fact, just click both, okay? And like I said, this is gonna be a bonus video, so I'm gonna try something a little differently with this one. I'm, I'm messing with some lighting and, and some other stuff, microphone and editing things. So I'm really just gonna have fun with this. And more importantly, I only have like 32 subscribers, so, and out of those 32, no one watches them anyway. But those that do, I really do appreciate you, okay? so. Like I mentioned in this video, I'm just going to go over the pros and the cons of credit union credit cards because there's so many credit cards out there in the market. Everyone is familiar with the big banks, the, the Bank of America, the Wells Fargo, Chase. Everyone loves Chase, right? But you can't overlook the, these credit union credit cards because a lot of them come with some great benefits not only just by being with the credit union, but the credit card itself. So first I'm just gonna go over the pros and then I'll go over the cons, all right? So one of the great things about a credit union is that the fees and the interest rates are typically lower. Because as you know, federal, well, credit unions are member owned, okay? That means that everyone who has an account there is considered a member. It's everyone's money in the community pulled together is what makes credit unions work. So they can actually offer the lower rates and lower uh, APRs when it comes to their credit cards. And I believe less than 10% of credit unions even charge an annual percentage rate when it comes to credit cards. Of course, another good thing is that their customer service. So if you lose a card or Let's say if you can't make a payment on time and you got to make some kind of arrangements or if you got to go in and sit down with someone, a personal banker, and tell your story for whatever reason, you know, they are they love customer service like they strive to be number one in customer service when it comes to banking because it's your money. It's everyone's money that's a member. So they want to keep you happy. They want to make sure that they're there for you especially when you need financial assistance. Now, one of my favorite great things about a credit union credit card is that it's usually easier to get than those big banks. Now, of course, your credit score is extremely important. They look at your total credit report, your derogatory items, all the good, the bad, and the ugly, but they tend to be a lot more lenient when it comes to approval. So if you if you don't have the best credit score or you don't have the best history a credit union you have a better chance of getting a credit card with them as opposed to some of the big banks where their approval is completely streamlined is strict if you fall below it is not really much consideration there now the last thing that's great about credit union credit cards is that they usually not always but they usually can reconsider you for a credit card if you're denied so you go online you fill out the application it comes back denied you can actually make an appointment with a personal banker go into a credit union office and sit down with someone and pretty much explain to them your background your history what you're trying to do um, why these things happen I mean everyone has mistakes on their on their credit history on their credit report so that's something that they're very familiar with now they may offer some type of um let's say debt counseling um some type of uh, financial education classes or they may just give you a lower credit line than, than what you were originally going to get just to kind of start you out but even to have that option to be reconsidered is definitely a plus when it comes to credit union credit cards now that i've told you about the pros let's go ahead and discuss the cons or the, the disadvantages of the credit union credit cards. Now, one of the biggest disadvantages is that everything you have is considered collateral. So if you have checking and savings account, you have investments with them. If you have car loans, 
um, whatever you have, credit cards, that debt, all of it is used as collateral, collateral, which means that if you default, they can actually take from directly out of your checking account, directly out of your savings account or your investments to pay them back. Because you got to remember, this is a member bank, right? A member institution. So you're hurting everyone else if you default on your loans or on your credit card. One of the most known disadvantages of credit union credit cards is that to be eligible for a credit card, you have to already be a member, right? So of course, credit unions, they have certain kind of criteria when it comes to membership. You, uh, especially like USAA, you have to be in the military or some of the credit unions, you have to be affiliate or served in the armed forces. You have credit unions where you have to live in a geographical location or you have to work for uh, a certain organization to get that but there are tons of credit unions out there that don't even require any of that a lot of you'd be surprised you can actually find a lot of credit unions just by your state or even county where if you work or live in dc you can actually join a credit union in dc maybe i'll make a video about that for those who live in the dc area and this is also one in maryland too that is also a good one but I'll think about making that video about credit union credit cards, but that's definitely a, a plus. Another one of the downsides of a credit union credit card is that they just can't compete when it comes to the credit limits. That doesn't mean that you can't get a credit limit credit card of 10,000, 15, 20,000, but they may start you off much smaller or lower than that, as opposed to the big banks. The big banks can afford to take that kind of risk. So if you have a decent score, you know, and you haven't had too much derogatory items you could easily start with a big bank with 10 15 depending on what you're doing or get those credit line uh, increases as your relationship grows with them but typically with credit unions they're going to start you out at much smaller credit limits and of course we got to talk about customer service as one of the downfalls because or downsides because credit unions you know they're not usually 24 7 so if if you have a problem some credit unions you may have to wait till monday to be able to talk to somebody and they they really have bankers hours i mean i'm talking eight to four monday through friday no weekends no holidays so a lot of time if you have to go to the credit union you got to do it during your lunch break or try to finagle your schedule depending on how you work to do that now there are some credit unions obviously that are open on the weekends but typically 24 7 maybe by, by telephone but some departments aren't open so that's just one of the downsides or one of the biggest downsides all right that's pretty much it like i said this was just a bonus video just wanted to go over the pros and the cons or the advantages and disadvantages of credit union credit cards i definitely think that you should take a serious look at credit union credit cards again you may have to join some of these credit unions you may have to open up a checking account but who can't open up a $25 checking account just to get a $7,500 credit card or I mean it's totally up to you though but uh, go ahead and uh, do me a favor click the subscribe button and click the like button and leave me a comment let me know do you prefer credit union credit cards do you have some do you prefer the big banks just let me know what you think which ones uh, do you use most frequently okay of course definitely check out my other videos and let's build together all right take care